Hi, Boomiverse. My name is Hunter Wiedemeyer, a software engineer here at Boomi, and in this video, I'm going to go over how to handle URL encoding and in integration processes. URL encoding is needed for some connectors that require information using ASCII characters or that have requirements like URLs cannot contain spaces. Let's say, for our example here today, that URLs can't contain spaces. If you add a space, you'll usually notice it change and cause the connection to fail. So in our scenario, our resource path where we have that space in our connection has that space character that needs to be properly encoded so that the connection can work as expected. The simplest way to do URL encoding is to use a search and replace uh, on on the data itself uh, where on the data you're encoding you're going to store it uh, after you encode it in this first branch here to then get later called and utilized in the http connector later on in the process yeah, you can see here down below the processing steps uh, with this search and replace where we're searching for a space and we're going to replace it with these values to be used in place of the space so that the connection can work as expected. Now, this is one way that you can do this. Uh, if you have you know, just a few characters to, that, that you need to um, change or encode in your URL, you, you can utilize this sort of design to utilize this uh, a data process shape. You uh, performing the search and replace uh, against the incoming data on uh, or, or in the um, connection uh, URL itself. You, you can see here we're setting the connection uh, URL here and then storing it. Uh, and, and it's uh, um, one thing that we, we recommend that we form that whole resource path before trying to encode it as that's uh, represented here. Another way that we can do this, let's say you have a bunch of characters that you need to replace, not just a few like we have in this scenario. If you have um, a, 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 a lot of different characters that you need to encode, it might be easier to, to do with a custom script. Here's an example script to URL encode some a value stored in the dynamic document property called DDP resource path. The original value is URL encoded and then stored again in the same DDP resource path for you to use later. And you can use this kind of script in a map shape or in the data process shape. Um, we're, we're flexible where we're these uh, scripts can can rest where where we're doing that. That like I said, we can do this not only in a map shape in a function using a custom script, or um, in the data process shape as well, where we can set the script. That's all for now. Please enjoy your time.